All right, fire up the iron six. It's been a week since I last tried firing it up and dropped the drive shaft off the bottom. If you guys remember that, Let's see how she does. Well, that was nice. Hey guys, I hope you were doing well, especially if you were currently out of work or in some kind of quarantine. Crazy, crazy times right now. So I'm wishing you guys all the best and uh, hopefully we are getting this thing under control and there's light at the end of the tunnel. Fingers crossed. So for what I did this week, um, so far currently, the rear end has been degreased. I've got to sand that and I'm hoping to get that painted this week and I might do the same here with the leaf springs. But most of this week for me was, so far has been spent practicing my welding. So this weekly startup is gonna be more for anybody that's um, giving me input. I just wanna show you guys where I'm at. And again, any feedback you guys have, greatly appreciated as always. So basically I just wanted to do a little bit of welding for you guys, show you where I'm at, what my stuff is looking like. So if you wanna stick around for that, feel free. Let's jump into it. All right, so to practice my sheet metal welding, what I've been doing is I have this, um, these sheets of 18 gauge, and I've just been taking my tin snips, and like for here, for example, I cut the corner off here, and <clears throat> put it back, and there you can see I welded it back on, and then ground it down. So, I mean, I am starting to get better at this. Here's the other side. So there is penetration coming through, but, you know, obviously more practice is needed. So I just want to show you guys, I have this set up here and uh, I'll weld this. You can see that this represents a pretty decent butt weld that I would be doing with this sheet metal. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this and uh, you guys can give me your feedback. First thing I'll do is tack these sides in, I'll show you those and then I'll weld the rest of this in. So here are the two tack welds I just put in. Here is what their penetration looks like, which to me seems um, pretty good. And yeah, I'll go ahead, take my time and tack along here and fill this in and then we'll grind it down. Now I am going a little faster than what you normally would because of the warping, but I just want to get through this and show you guys you know, how I'm making out. So I'll do another pass here after this cools and we'll grind it down and see how it's going. All right, so here it is ground down. And one, another thing I'm figuring out is there's a little bit of an art to grinding your welds down too, because um, I'm still trying to determine just how smooth this is. One thing I'm noticing is that with some of these welds, it almost appears as though there's pitting happening around the weld. I don't know if that's burning that's going on or if I'm just not grinding down enough. This is all solid right here. The only holes in this, there's a little pinhole right there and there's a pinhole right there. Yeah, you can see the holes right there. Here's what my penetration is looking like. Which, to me, I think is pretty good, but I could be wrong. And then as far as the structural integrity of this, if I grab it with pliers and start going, I mean, it's, it's solid. So, Definitely make an improvement. 
So that at least gives you guys an idea of how things are progressing for me. This process obviously was a little rushed. I would take my time in between spot welds, spacing them out to prevent warping and stuff, but I wanted to get this filmed so I could get this up for you guys. I have a long ways to go, but I'm building up confidence and I feel like before long I'll be ready to try welding some sheet metal on the car, but I'm not there yet. I want to hear your feedback, see what you guys think. One thing I will note was using the acetone to clean the metal definitely seemed to help cut down on the soot. I still feel like I'm getting more soot than what I see from a lot of guys, but you know I'm happy with what the acetone has done. Another thing, I am finding that I am actually far busier during this quarantine time here in Central PA than what I expected, so I still have some comments to catch up on, but I do read them all and I appreciate all your feedback. Uh, it, it helps a lot. So that is everything I have for this episode, guys. I'm wishing you all the best. Stay safe, and until the next episode, take care.